Live with Men, 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 the podcast. This is Men, 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 the podcast. Karibu sana kama unasikiza leo. Probably for the first time we have over 40 more episodes of Bosom Bezo Karudi that you can catch up with. Lakini kama unaanza na sisi leo pia, sio mbaya. We always welcome wasikilizaji wapya. We love each and every one of you. Remember to subscribe, share uh au kuapa watu wengine wote you know I'm more than they should actually listen to this podcast boom play apple podcast uh, spotify google podcast audio mark anchor and everywhere man we are pretty much everywhere so this is men 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 the podcast what we do tunazungumza na wanaume kuhusiana na mambo ya kiume lakini tukifocus zaidi kwenye swala zima la mental health na we take time kupitia challenges experiences na na namna gani ambazo either watu wame overcome au namna gani bora zaidi ya kuweza ku overcome the challenges but the main reason we are doing that ni tunajaribu ku create a platform where actually wanaume tunaweza kuanza kuongea kuhusiana na the struggles and our stories the challenges and the successes without actually being worried kuhusiana na kuwa judge or with actually being worried kwamba tutaonekana tofauti and why we are doing this tunajaribu ku normalize conversation kuhusiana na mental health kwa wanaume na bottom line tuache kuona wanaume kama miungu vile this is what we been saying for years nadia what's good everything's good I, i'm glad you didn't say you're gucci i'm going to be Last time I asked her hey Nadia was up she's like I'm Gucci. And I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I I I I'm, I'm, life crisis. I, I, you see that I was like mimi mtumzima mtanenda Michael Mambo vile ndio I'm Gucci man. I was like Cause where did you even get that word? Yeah. Or is it up your nephews and this is I don't even know. Yeah. Some I, I don't Gucci. know. Somebody said you take it or come go with some of the Gucci. <laughs> I was like hey man whatever make whatever works for you so yeah Nadia is our own uh, resident psychologist therapist and bet na kwa na kon each and every episode about nafanya you can catch her at mindmatterstz on instagram and at mind, mindmatterstz on twitter as well there's a link kwenye bio ambayo itakupeleka moja kwa moja kwenye website yake and then unaweza kuwasiliana naye zaidi pale you can book sessions unaweza kuongea naye zaidi na 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 vitu kama hivyo so we always appreciate you you know kwa kuwa na sisi hapa but most importantly shout out to you kwa kuendelea kutupa studio yeah <laughs> your office in I masaki could. it feels fancy to record in masaki not a lot of people get to do that mm. yeah we biro wa kazi oi what's up man oh, oh, what's good yeah not everything is good man i'm glad kwanza umeweza kufika na kuja mm. here's the funny fact so i remember a while ago mtaka ni twitter kama you guys should get the biro wa kazi not the biro wa kazi office okay yeah but we, <laughs> let's give you wa kazi okay. you know okay. let's give you wa kazi what about you should get wa kazi on the podcast i was like there's a moment topic itafika but i think itamfa and then we'll actually get him to the podcast na kwenda kuzungumza naye so first of all thank you for making time na you have a very hectic schedule yes, keeping yes. the so yes. we appreciate you man for coming through man man pleasure so much yeah how have you been my guy ah uh, roller coaster like in so <laughs> welcome back to tanzania welcome back to tanzania <laughs> welcome back to entertainment side of things yeah. because i uh, been away from Yeah, there. that's what I was going to say. You have been at just get any new music. I know you're actually talking about doing your own podcast. Yes. What happened to that? Uh there's still on way cuz I want I want to make sure first of all I need to live up to your standards uh, for God's sake so I can't rush into doing it. I love who Wow, we feel on that but I, <laughs> for us it's been a struggle but <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, sure. like we're actually talking about yeah. it this morning. Wait, well, wait. Right? If you and then come on get cut like episode ya 10 or ya 12 and how we're actually working try yeah. to juggle things that could make it work. Right. Like right now we've yeah. kind of I know the system well, and how it works. I wanted to make sure you give me money for you but it's been a struggle but thank you for the hard work you've been doing. Thanks man you're doing great things. Thanks for that. Consistency ile sababu is like ukianza umeanza. So it's like I have to be in a space come by me nikse man nimeanza nimeanza. And then the struggle is being a jack of all trade master of none. Come it's like okay how do we which which angle should we go for? Yeah. So I think I need to I was like I need to have multiple Yeah. Uh, shows like uh, this one is going to be about lifestyle this should be concentrating on hip hop this should be and if you talk about this you know i can i can i can actually see you pulling a joe biden on us joe like biden. you know joe biden is literally saying with the content master, content master yeah. and nobody saw this coming nobody saw it coming so i'm telling I'm, you i'm definitely going to be coming because people they kind of actually see me coming 
but nimekuwa mimi na delay because if come up they bet on the wrong nani like yeah. yes I, 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 and what cars we the what cars the rapper what cars the politician what cars the activist what cars pretty much everything man i'm growing up this is what you've always wanted to do being a master of everything ah uh, no nah, okay when i was growing up i always didn't like when i'm to now like nah, nah, oppressed people nini, nini, so bullied I, i never like that so I, i would speak up even though my voice wasn't the biggest i mean when i was going to, to school the men and the big big dudes at most of the times but i was always somehow some way find myself to be the ring leader even though i was the smallest <laughs> for the most part yeah. but my voice somehow some way stood up even yeah. when i'm a bouncer up in my mouth so that that kind of like made me realize come back to always speak and then i was told at home come back your voice and you don't, don't close mouth don't get fed mm-hmm. so i'm like yo you have to speak mm-hmm. up you have to speak up you have to speak up so ndio kana sababisha nikaingia kwenye this activism mimi na na being woga i remember in high school everybody is going for the motion i'm against the motion Always. and i could actually win the debate you know the only one with the points now and and i want to ask you this now how now that umogia uh, kwamba you're going now I look at you on Twitter. What kind of the kind of person that can literally go one on one on Twitter the whole day? Oh. Now, how old is that kid? Patience with high school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm like you you don't have things to do. I know. <laughs> so how yeah. you, why why? why? And sometimes we talk about very petty, very petty. Like, I'm like what kind you don't have things to do? How kwani una bishara na hili pia? You enjoy that? I enjoy. I enjoy cuz I I like who oh, This is one thing. Most of the time I, I I'm very elaborate to a point I'm expecting somebody to understand. Yeah. So when somebody doesn't, it irritates me. Like, <laughs> how come you didn't get that? Yeah. So let me expound a little more. So and it's like, oh, really? Really? <laughs> no. And then the another thing, you should understand we're born with comprehension. Yeah, you should understand. We have a niche with compre- yeah. we can't comprehend shit. Another thing is with the social media space is I came to realize sometimes when you see me talking to somebody I'm not talking to him I'm talking to the rest because mm. these uh, uh false narratives that being uh that need repeated over and over and over people start believing certain things mm. so when I'm seeing somebody saying ignorant things I'm like I'm replying to him but basically I'm replying to the rest of the people so that they can see how ignorant he is or uninformed he is and get the real truth out yeah. of it so no matter I spend my time in a dedicated go make sure I can go over. Mm. this guy so I texted him on WhatsApp I called him he didn't pick up I sent him a DM on Twitter I can reply right on time <laughs> <laughs> See what happened was <laughs> I get out of here the American <laughs> phone in the Tampa airport I'm I'm getting the internet from the other one so <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm trigger happy when it comes to Twitter. Yeah. But, but the, the struggle with the phones and charging, that's why even my phone wasn't available in the morning. It's it's real. Yeah, but man. yes, yeah, you can man. get me on Twitter before Instagram. It's kind of like Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. Mm. And, then you, and then and the then the SMS call, the SMS and regular text and then the email. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the email go to the bottom. Uh, uh, email, uh, the email got comes before Facebook though. Email and t- uh, email and then text. Calls and, and, and Facebook. Facebook right now is kind of lapsed. But 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 if you want to reach out to our cars, remember send a DM, man. Yeah, DM. Send a DM. Well, send on, a Twitter. DM. Oh, on Twitter. Send a DM on Twitter. Twitter. Send a DM on Twitter. On Twitter. Get me right there. Yeah, man. So thank you for coming through, my guy. So the conversation that we want to have with you, ni kwamba a couple months ago, uh, yeah. we received an email. Into so the, this lady ambaye uh, ni Tanzania mm-hmm. alikuwa in the US. I think alikuwa na soma kule, and uh, she committed suicide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um na of course the issue it should get as we said it is mental health right. it is mental health mm-hmm. so the conversation mtu alinitumia email ni mtu nadhani ambaye ana anafahamiana na yeah. so I can't explain ni namna gani ambavyo uh you name to issue ilikuwa ni the struggle alikuwa kwanza kukop kule na alikuwa ameka nadhani I think alikuwa ameka US kama 3 4 years mm-hmm. na she was about to come back home but she felt like what was she coming home to so, yes. you know so ni kitu ambacho alikuwa na struggle nacho sana. So we don't know kama that is one thing that trigger lakini watu wanao farm kama that is one of the issues ambazo alikuwa na deal nazo. And then so that kind of took me back for years ago. This guy ambaye najua alienda kusomea urusi na he came back home alienda kusomea mbio medicine or doctor whatever. So he came back home hapa Tanzania akaanza ku struggle na kazi hakuna 
uh, you know amepoteza tena ile network alikuwa nayo wakati uko high school and then tunajua sisi hao tunavyopima mafanikio yes, amerudi exactly. kwa mtafiki zake wameoa wamolewa the kids mm. they build houses yes. uh, kwa standard ya maisha ya Tanzania wanaonekana wako vizuri kwa sababu Tanzania iko na nyumba iko na gari yeah, made it you know uh, any society to be team kwamba hiyo ndio kipimo cha mafanikio you have house you have car mm. you're good you know na house hata kama it's not supposed to be rented house you have to come out with you know mm. uh, kwata, it doesn't matter standard the fact kama yeah. umejenga yeah. you're good and you have a car ata kama ni third party au whatever lakini big five kwamba those two things you have manake you've made it now you can actually afford to take you to your kids to standard sure sure to the standard you know so amerudi hapa akakuta wenzake wengi wapo katika that stage but for him amerudi kwanza amefikia nyumbani yeah kwa baba na mama and then kazi amna and then a struggle and then kama miaka mitatu minne akaanza ku withdraw could no longer meet her because like manake akikutana nao watu na watoto nyumba site zinawasumbua na nini nani and then it ended him to go commit suicide. Mm. Yeah, it's somebody that I know. Okay. Akaenda aka commit suicide. Mm. So but then hata mimi sikufikiria ni nini. Lakini when I got this email mm. so it can reduce a human and cause a cause oh yeah. And then also nikapata chance ya kuona conversation with a couple of my friends ambao they got a chance ya kwenda kukaa nje mm. na wakarudi hapa na wakazungumza na wakazungumzia pia the struggle ambayo anaopitia. Mm. So so yeah, I know wakazi stayed in the states for a while. Yeah. He came back home as well. Like I said this would be a great person as he was going to come. But also the fact of Manadia never so many gents. So I feel like this would be a very good space as he was going to because again, when you sana waga tunaona kwamba as long as umefanikiwa kupeleka mtu nje ya nchi then that's a success. We really did not think about the struggle about unapitia kuishi kule and then also the fact of watu wakirudi huko huko wakirudi huko nyumbani that's why i thought it was really really important for us to unpack each kitu na kujaribu kuondoa huu mzigo kwa wengi zaidi yeah so let's talk about that first of all what pushed you to go to the us Okay. And like what what was the context? What were the pull factors? Yeah, pull factors. Thank you, baby. Okay, me, um, I come from a family ambayo ilikuwa exposed to Kazaman. Mm. Kwa na America. Uh, very early in the, in, the, in the 80s actually. So, mm. mimi kutoka sijitambui I had family members in the states and my cousins, some of my cousins were there kule mzee wa Sira alikuwa ameka tu baadhi wa Marekani huko na some American University pia. So, it's like wakati tuko adogo kabisa mimi hata bado sijui sijaanza standard 1 tuko na tapes za soul train mm. sijui za nini tunatumiwa na ndugu zetu ambao wako nje tunaangalia the music videos na nini mm. so the american thing was around the family and then the cousins walirudi huku wako la sala tano la sita la saba wengine form 1 wengine wameenda Arusha school wengine Olympio nini so wako wanya mwezi kabisa yeah. yani sisi tunaona bidu kimbie yai na otemo <laughs> yeah. so, that that was around us and while the English culture ya kimarekani wakaja nayo nyumbani so america kwetu ilikuwa always there the culture the hip hop the matter i'm sick of hip hop i was I, i knew it earlier than most people mm. you know na because of that kwa hiyo ule wa marekani ulivyo kwepo and then my, my big brothers and big cousins na ambao ambao wako nje lakini they were already exposed through the family that was there he was all about that american dream you got to go to the states you got to go to nini duke kuangalia games uh north carolina duke university yeah. in college and then the michael jordan thing so it became a thing kwa to see kwa the family within the family na ukiondoa hiyo sasa kitu kingine ni kwamba even the schools that i was privileged to go to of course ni somi nazimilia fakin baada ya hapo nimesoma bunge bunge nimesoma yeah shout out to bunge man yeah, i i nimesoma bunge, bunge olympio and then mwimbili primary school i was exposed na marafiki ambao na wao mazingira ni pale kwao yalikuwa kidogo na yenyewe yana exposure mm. so when we came na type no gray and wa they anamjua huyo anamjua huyo anamjua snoop anamjua buff daddy sio kila mtu alikuwa anamjua buff daddy ni shon didi kongs 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 wish i don't shon kongs kwa sababu nakumbuka ni mambo mimi naitwa shon kongs i'm gonna need a buff daddy so yeah ni vitu kama hivyo mtu mwingine i anaoelewa so that exposure it sababisha by the time hata baadaye i went to loyola high school so the exposure ni the na loyola is an american school yeah so it in sababisha kwamba okay you are where you are where you are where and then when you was up home they talking about that safari call you get this inspiration from them and then that american dream you start rapping you play basketball you wish you be kobe you wish you be alive you know kwa mwezi kabisa ni mwezi kabisa so unaanza kutamani kila kitu cha kule you watch and one you are nini mwangalia video so ile ikaimetuzunguka that american dream lakini 
the only way I'm going to get up on the pool and our family and get quite okay with it's through it, education. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you gotta go to college. You gotta go to college so you can, you can do that. No, it's like, well, so what, what do I do? What do I in in in? You have built my visa from from six. Do you? Or apply to school and then it was a quenda. Maybe you find your SAT because me me I did find your SAT. I don't mean go near my SATs. I think it's here. Yeah. I think it's two of us who did the SAT. Got the family. Yeah. Mm. No, no, me and the other one. So if you can survive this, come by the time you turn up, go form four. Tayari we everything in Kimarakan. Yeah. Na kuboka kati na soma high school because I went back to Loyola five and six. I was not paying attention to class. I was thinking about knew it. what yeah, was going to happen. I did my SATs and with the SATs I could get a partial scholarship. I wanted to leave this place. Mm. Mm. So I was like I got to go there. I got to go there. And ile ile imagination ya unyamwezi. Neri si nani mbele yale yako msha kujia kichwani. So hiyo yeah. kwenda shule wasn't like kwa sababu unataka kwenda kusoma upate education. Now it's because in the family <laughs> that's just a thing to do and yeah. that's the only way you could live here. What's going to as a tourist yeah. as a businessman? You got to go to college. You got to go to school. That's yeah. the only way you could go. Yeah. So that ooms kumo litokana na hiyo kwamba mazungira na exposure yote na the bigger brothers ambao sasa walianza kuwa na ndoko. Kumbuka um uh kulikuwa kuna wapi kule downtown kule Gardena ni Gardena ni bonyuma kule kwa kuna rafiki zao kaka zangu ambao walikuwa na kijiwe chao cha hatu big statement ya 20 si ni mambo yale kwa una skills ile story unajua mchakato mimi nilikuwa najua mchakato kwa mtoni kabla probably na mitaa mtoni kabla hujafika hujafika kama mchakato unafanya hivi upata i20 20 let me statement ifanye hivi you cancel watu wananyimwa visa unajua unajua kwa sababu gani watu wameenda kufanya so ule mchakato wote ilikuwa na ujua kama siku ya airport pale ndo inabidi upige meta kelfin au fancy na hiyo ufute ufute malaria kwa sababu yeah so all those things ni kwa sababu ya because of that no na na wakati influence by the time our time our time came ikana ni ikatokea and then we be actually went before me we be on my cousin cuz me I'm a bureau and I have a cousin who's a bureau ah yeah but I say it is akapata community college so yeah he went before me na yeye ujua alizaliwa ga kule eh wakati my family was there earlier in five so alizaliwa kule so yeah, yeah. it was easier to go. Mm. So he went there. So I'm like, man, I was a class above, a couple of class above you, and you went before me. Yeah. And I had to come back to five and six. It was more than that. Yeah. But eventually, I, I ended up doing it because family life now is in a politics side. Yeah. And I was like, okay, but what about those women? Come on, tell them don't go. You must not turn to them. Yeah. So the family now in answer to push me. I'm like, okay, nani go kule, nani go kule. You should go to to tell them. I'm not even there yet. Any. So it became a family push as well as well as um come on Marisa from 6 na matokeo ni mazuri au nataka mabaya sababu akiwa mabaya si even easier kusema kama hapa hapa kana cha kufanya kana cha kufanya hapo bora ende na tafsiri maisha so that became also a push ya ya kula kani ukafanya hizi cities kafanya vizuri it's like why not no no ni can explain itself some people na because of politics we want na ndugu ambao they hawajiwezi kivile hata kujielezea anaenda kuomba visa just because politics na suggest mtoto afanye aende so why all resources are there huyo kati tunajua kabisa wakazi akaenda pale ni gandalandis yeah Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Nadia, also mm. for you, what were the pull factors? I know you started outside the country as well. Um, my primary pull factor, what I wanted to study here, I could not uh, mm. study it. Mm. <laughs> Basically, in the, in, at the level or the stage that I wanted to. Mm. So it was not a lack, lack of information. Also, lack of... Uh, no one was inspiring me to stay mm-hmm. you know like mtu yote unaongea naye it's it's better bora ukasoma nje alafu rudi because you get you pick up uh, you get all the knowledge and then you can come and apply lakini hamna mtu alikuwa anaongea kwamba unaweza kaipata knowledge hapa hapa and apply it hapa hapa you know so i think that was my main pull factor but na hizo push factors kwamba namna mtu anaongelea view yetu hapa vikoje what can you do also there wasn't a lot of programs kwenye psychology hapa uh, na ndugu zangu wote wamesoma abroad so I was like why oh, traditions why yeah, traditions yeah, traditions, traditions. <laughs> yeah you wish you point of seeing it sir traditions <laughs> and all my friends everyone's going out I'm like na mimi na mimi I want to yeah. go but so yeah. now this um uh, now I want to bring it back to the context about yeah. nataka kuzungumzia leo which is kusema swali la mental health yeah. Na struggles mm. na expectation about mm. na so i did we did an episode with um i think a couple weeks a couple months ago with Danny and Patrick Nanyaro mm. tukatunazungumzia it was about uh trying new things and finding new hobbies mm. 
and then Daniel akawa muongea akawa anasema kwamba he, he plays golf now mm, okay. rich people problems yes. so, <laughs> but we have established it's not only for the rich <laughs> in Tanzania now, now we know now we know in Tanzania but, yeah and then akawa anaongea kwamba katika vitu ambavyo ameobserve akienda kucheza hapa ni kwamba you meet a lot of people who wametoka nje mm. ambao wanakuja hapa na akawa anaona kwamba they are struggling sana kufit in mm. how true is that yeah the struggle is real mm-hmm. uh, mimi uh, mental health yangu na ishukuru sana ilikuwa natokana na kwamba nilikuwa najiprepare kabla ya mambo mengi kutokea. Mm. I remember when I was uh, when 50 cent ametoka I was in Tanzania. Mm. Um, I was like I read this story it was very interesting struggle being shot and in I was like 50 cent is like 29 years old and all of a sudden is a global sensation. Mm. Where was he the uh, last 29 years? So maybe he was in all rosy before mm. yeah. before that. So that and then listen to the lyrics on Osama is real he's been through that the gunshots the hood na nina wao ni smoke kuna maisha America ambayo sio hizi aesthetically ya glory ambayo tunaijua yani kuna maisha ambayo sio ba Hollywood inatupa it's not a Hollywood inatupa the picture so kuna reality life ambayo ni gold kule no in that hata nilipofika America because acha na kuja kurudi huku shock ya fit in huku ku fit in kule it is really easy because the babu is like first of all the image about you carry is the same way about the image they carry sisi hapa monkeys trees mm. na nini the same image it now magorofa nice swearing everybody mm. unafika tu unakuwa introduce na homeless guy and a smell like foul yeah. like a cadaver or something and it's like it's crazy yeah. you know so my mimi hapa niji prepare na hiyo kwamba bwana huku it's not going to be all na nini Mm. glitters and gold. So ile ikasaidia kunikufiti lakini watu wengi that was a shock sababu so, unafika ndio you see the buildings ndio the, the weather the snow the yote hayo the education the facilities kali lakini culture shock but mm. pale pale how people talk and then uh, how they dress and then uh, poverty as much you know and in some areas even more than what we see you know, yeah, yeah. you know so even if you want to just now you know, and then but vile vile kuja shock nyingine acha tukutana wa marekani kuna sehemu unaweza ukafika kuna neighbor na utani wa china au ni wa japan wa tu kwa maana sio tu kuja marekani ni kama vile uko bongo au uko china what the hell thought that came in america yeah. nigeria is all yeah. around me so yeah. all those things could just now you know, is very difficult i love na vile vile reality ya kuishi pale na kuweza ku at the same time like kufanya kilicho kuleta mm. that's the biggest struggle kwa watu wengi yani kama uh, ada ilikuwa itoki nyumbani ndio <laughs> wabeba box wabeba box yeah ndio mm. nakuja kuna picture it was a struggle do you think kwamba hapo ni sehemu ambayo baadhi ya watu ambao wana struggle sana and then at the end of the, because we know watu ambao wali so I, i got lucky ni ni kwa ni i got lucky na yali yeah, yeah. so i went to i went to us in 2018 mm. Philadelphia. Yeah. Na nikakutana na Watanzania ambao they've been there for years. Mm. But they do not want to come back home. Yeah. Ukimuliza huku kazi unafanya kazi gani mtu anakuambia ah nipo tu mzee labda nipo tu kwenye hoteli fulani nafungua milango nafanya like but you've been here for long. Yeah. Una elimu you got you una exposure come back home. Mm. Lakini mtu anakuambia narudi huko kufanya nini? Is that the struggle both that you see happening to a lot of people too? Yes, it happened to a lot of people. Sababu so, um this is one thing that over fano moja person was saying. Yeah. Uh by the time my cousin, one of my cousins born there to Abiru. Another Abiru, Abiru to Kwa Tatu. Mtisha sana. Eh, the we Abiru Tatu, we Abiru Asira, Abiru Asira Tatu kuna Abiru wengine lakini yao tupa Tatu. Sasa yeye by the time anaondoka Tanzania, kipindi kile sim watu wao walikuwa wana wana sim ya mkononi. Walikuwa wachache sana. By the time anaondoka like we really meet ya sabuni mobite so it's like sim was kitu ambacho ni kwani uwe nayo sim ilikuwa noma sasa fast forward two years later everybody had a phone in Tanzania yeah i didn't have it no na sabu the messenger ni yuko na lakini all my friends had it for me kwa tumega sim ya thwe so we have to report about you take it end of the day so kila mtu alikuwa na sim no na 3310 sim okay sim ni ni mambo ya kila mtu alikuwa nazo and then me and kind of states they were the states came to cell phones so yeah yeah tanzania leo yacha ni kwa ma sim is a big deal wakati mimi nimemwacha hadi ndugu wangu western sim yeah you see what i mean yeah. so mimi kwa zima sim kwake bwana can i use your phone and call somebody 
it was something that I I don't even ask twice. I will ask Esther, I will ask Ellie. You kill to the phone. Yeah. I just never had a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody had a phone. Yeah. And I, I want to talk to Thwain. Thwain, you can know that quarter by then. Yeah. And my other cousin, you could see. So we want to do a conference call. We want to talk. So I want to talk to Tumia. What is this? What is this? Big deal for yeah. me to use the phone. I was like, bro, you know, this is just a soft phone. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, 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 So that in itself, no one can be so picha yake ya Tanzania is stuck on a sequel. Imagine when somebody, some, one of your relatives, even your bigger brother, dies at 17 and you're 14, and then you reach to be 40. Your only picture of him is when he was 17. 17. Mm. Very yeah, true. Even though now you're a grown man, but you see the 17 year old boy. Yeah. So that's what most people in the picture are stuck in their mind. Mm. Those who never came back. That's the picture of the boy who is in our scare. So we have an advancement in America. And then there is a picture of the man who is in the house. And he is in the house. And he is in the house. Yeah. So that's a big problem about what we think about in our school. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Um <laughs> I think that is very uh in another in another way of sana. And uh, and I think I don't know Nadia, do you think in in a kuja na I don't know it comes with what expectations, it comes with uh not accepting the truth come a and a quenda, things are moving, that how it's a mindset thing. It's and I think mambo mengi, like several factors. Do you like exposure of okay, this is like what I was exposed to? And now, who na any further knowledge from that point? Nyingine, uh, it's just the, the fear of, okay, if I am to... Because if I left here, this is what it, how it was. Nimefika uku. This is the advance, advancement nilo ikuta. If I do go back, that means, ataka kama kuna advancement kidogo, nitakuwa naruli nyuma. You know? So, kuna ile uoga kwamba, okay, is it taking, yeah. is it going to be taking me back? Kwa sabu nimesha progress, sasa nitaruli nyuma. You know, so kuna, kuna mambo mengi, I think, that come, come in. Na pia kusha, kusha, so when you go into a different culture, you acculturate, you adjust, you know. There is integration into a new culture, you adopt. Because in order for you to fit in, you need to at some point either integrate, fully adopt culture ya mwenzio. Because that way, then unaachana na yakuako to fit in, me and adopt na kuwa marekani kabisa. Tabia, kila kitu ninaziva. That, that makes it easy for people to, to kind of adjust to a new culture. Like in the issue is you lose, you lose where you are coming from. Na nadhani watu wengi ambayo wanapata shida sana kuhudi nyumbani kwamba ame alished u Tanzania to fit in and integrate in a different country ka shed the Tanzanian ka kava you know wanje. Wengine you find a balance. I think kuna wengine tuko in between ambayo unasema yeah. okay I will cuz I need to adjust and fit in hapa nita adopt nitajifunza their ways mm-hmm. lakini najitambua nimetoka wapi na sitaki kuviacha yeah. so you that find you, a balance yeah. in Kumba, between you, you can you will come back home eh hey, mm. you know so hata ukirudi nyumbani kwako sio vigumu sana kwa sababu hukuvipoteza vyote yani hukuvished mm. yeah. so unarudi na tabia za like abroad lakini bado una tabia za hapa so ni ku adjust kwamba ukishafika ukutakuwa na kishoko kidogo kwamba okay i need to now shift my mindset to use the template ya kitanzania zaidi era era yetu it was lucky because the www dot was was existing yeah. mm. it's easier to connect and stay in touch huko kuliko wale watu ambao waliondoka by 98 because wale there was no ilikuwa kwa contact book yellow pages any that's the only way you could interact with it was much harder Email, it was harder hmm. so those ones they were shinned off me intense exactly. since i got to me figure pull huko mtu ana msn hotmail come to na simu na ongea so that one also helped you kept then updated the, yeah you kept updated and then the high five then the yeah. facebook later all of exactly. those side dog group nyingine moja ambayo ina struggle ni ile ambayo imeenda kule and it remain Tanzanian kule exactly. ilishindwa kwa acclimate wenyewe na kule Marekani mm. and then wanaogopa kirudi huko wataonekana huko what do you have remember yeah. no longer tease yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. the man karudi the only thing he, he knew was english mm. but mm. he didn't bring anything and i read play confirmation in and hapo nataka nataka kuuliza do we feel like we as a community we put so much pressure kwa watu ambao wanaenda wanaenda nje kuso yes do we feel like we put that much pressure now yes. do you think it ndio kile ambacho kinaenda ku break people 
Well, I mean, it that breaks is. some people I cannot call it. It does, it does. Part of it, it does. But it's like, and imagine no kifika to me, imagine me used to happen in the end of the day. I'm not going to see him. I'm going to see him. I'm going to see him. Wow. <laughs> to know, <but> evil. <laughs> yes. Mm. So a lot of pressure is put on people. Some people are doing okay. 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 I blame what you're saying. Yeah. I, I blame them. You know, you know, my hands. So it's like, like, you know, get a treatment. You're doing okay. Oh, yeah. So so I can have a lot of people. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. 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 The validity of statements yeah. somehow, some way, even yeah. though it's wrong and it completely mm, yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like any, the pressure that we put on people in our society, I don't know if it's people, but now, strongly, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask Oh, I'm going to be And to a name of American Usiapa. And I'm going to press for getting it. And I'm going to get some time and an accent. By looking at you, they already know you're not American. Yeah. Hey, so it's like, might as well speak at your African food and shit. They're already they're expecting that. They're, yeah. they're expecting you not to know English. They're yeah. expecting you not to be perfect or articulate. Because it's like, just be free. But, but it's. <laughs> It's hard being free in a foreign country, especially right. if you're talking about the mindset I want to fit in here. I want to fit in. Be- because now all you think about is I want to be one of them. Yeah, one of them. And then you don't you don't realize come on, you don't have to. Mm-hmm. You know, you can actually shine by being you. Like it, it's not a mindset about you tonight. Ni, 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 ni relate na mean tight kama okay na boarding school boarding school okay na boarding school me enda form 1 dokta pale form 2 ana test ana kwa form 1 uh, akili yake au ni kwamba when i get na mean kingo form 2 i want to nataka nifanye kile kile ambacho aliwafanyia it's a very i don't know i, I, would, I don't want to say backward mentality yes. lakini it's a mentality about what to are now you know what can they now which brings me back to my next question now when you came back home, did you struggle to fit in as well? Umuru Tanzania. Yes, sir. Uh, remember when I was leaving that from Jacinta analogy? Mm-hmm. I knew things were that way. But in Zuri, in Kiwapule, I uh, kept in touch. No, no, it was thanks to the internet. And then I became an artist. So that even made me closer to a lot of people. I knew what was going on. Yeah. I knew Nsani Gani Katuadini, Mini Patagani, Zuri Sanna music. So I, I, I was in touch. No, no. And then, time ya kuja limufika, ni karubi pale pale. Okazi, Umondoka, Kuna Luzapa, Wako secondary, Saizi, they are jobs. No, no, Kuna Luzapo, you are Shabado, and Strakum Tani, they are bank jobs, like, they are good, good. Yeah. So, Kuna to work, come and come to me, I'm going to call you, you chew a party, boom, you mentioned, now they, they got jobs. Yeah. They, you know, <laughs> they, they driving cars, you know what I mean? So, that, I had to put that in mind. And then, Kumbuka, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go to Sana, you are going to go to Kuyapa. Ah, Miss uh, Come on, man. You left this shit. Yeah, you left this shit. Yeah, you left this shit. Yeah, this is the reality. You could have you know, like, this is the reality of Tanzania. Yeah, that's what we expect. You live in this. Yeah. Come on. So I'm like, I cannot. Me, I'm really going to say that. Na hivyo kwa masingira ambayo najua joto lipo unaona mm. na ninajua sio kila mtu ana ana choki zuri yeah. na unaweza kukaribwa kwa watu so you have to to live okay when you're wrong you na ni the wrong yeah, yeah, was yeah. yeah, so it's like mimi hiyo ni kwa mimi nyake ni chana but mm. the struggle was still there because you have to be sane na ku accommodate with vyote but at the same time you want to kwa kwa hapa watu the new ways that or new information au kwa Plus, you are coming from America. Yeah, so, from America. So, yeah, so the expectations are. Yeah, expectations. Yeah, yeah. expectations. Cool, but Sana. Now, look at my first interview. We ended up on one media. I did. We went to an interview. An interview just because I'm talking about Ghana. It wasn't because he cared for Kazi music wow. or the video that I was going to premiere or none of that. Anyway, because you're not talking about Ghana. Mm. And if you think about it, you were talking about the Jordans, Nanini, and the Colombians. The whole interview. Yeah, the, yeah, and those were the things they had to focus on. The, the areas of interest. Yeah, the interest. Yeah. Like, so I was like, wow. So I had to, to accept Kwamba, I will be called to interviews because you're American and not because of my art. Because I'm not a I was spoken, I'm not a Kasirika, 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 I'm not a
let them talk their their, their bs yeah. lakini mwisho pale speed talk what you want to hear yeah. yeah. so yeah. i had to adjust on talking fast and make sure i hit all the points katika short period of time because i know most of the time was about on getting the bubble music attack so that was a huge drop mm-hmm. yeah. and then the family side because come on of course man family yenye na kuangalia kumekuja okay what are you doing so kila mtu of course sisi ndipo tulikuwa na bahati tulianza kufanya music na family because the DJ needs to understand yeah no no cuz it's like she became so successful kwa sababu kisiki mtu akisikia kwa sababu ya family music nobody's going to say anything Mm. <laughs> because tayari kuna mtu ndiye mshaka someone na my pay pathway yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly what we did on the, on the last episode we told tell you kwamba i'm doing this ili mtu akija nyuma yangu asiwe kama you know somebody made it so it makes it easier for all of us exactly so so shout out to the lady for that yeah yeah man she did that for the family i was good and nobody was gonna nyuliza kwa nafanya muziki unaanza kufanya tafuta kazi ya kaidia mambo vya soma nobody would ask me that lakini kuna wale ambao bado ndio ubi hadi na kuniambia eh about the gentle mama mama yangu ana noma mama yangu ana shida kabisa lakini si try to find a way kuhakikisha kwamba if that's what you want if that's what makes you happy you can do it lakini is it making you money or is it in for those will come here and there lakini most of the people won't say it because they know when you are successful uko bale huu did they being the witness it's like how we could go yeah, yeah so mm. but, but the struggle was there and mr la uba actually he was very very big on the dating yeah mm. see because that one was oh. <laughs> so, he is the funny part so i was talking to a friend yeah um the besomana in lebanon was in tantony yeah. and then he went to the us so uh merudi hapa akawa sema ni mike mimi merudi hapa yani na struggle sana mimi nilitoka nchi ya boys one man one woman and good to go lakini nimekuja hapo hiyo kata watu wanishaka like what is wrong with you why you why una kana mdada mmoja damani any for him come say not one for me come sort of go and shaka but catch you have to come as a man you got to be a player man. Uh, or you got to be a whole let's uh, just say yes. as a man you got to be a whole you know so ana kuja hapo na mbona even the ladies are going to date you expecting that from him come back yeah why why any Move around a little bit. Yeah, What did you experience the same thing? Yeah, it seemed it was crazy. Cuz my phone was blowing up cuz we were coming but I was out uh, Twitter was already famous. Mm. Most people already knew me. Yeah. So uh, I'm just like hey, wakazi. Ah, so yeah, we just yeah. so it was bananas. <laughs> Alafu uh come on say but the women are expecting you a certain way. Alafu na the guys also. Hey, it's like they want to subject them as in gira. Yes. Mm. Then as well as on the for country the ambao unajua baba umetoka nje so you go to parties mm. or events ambazo unakutana na diaspora guys na at least kidogo mnaendana even is that, is that the reason pia tuna tuna judge diaspora because we feel like wakirudi hapo Tanzania wanakaa wow. 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 mm. if that's the reason as well they that's the you have one of one of the reasons yeah, yeah. that's one of the reason exactly because every sababu wao wanafika hapa wanakutana na masinga magumu Mm. Yeah, shinda, so I keep keep my plan. Birds of a feather flock together. Yeah. Wanna, wanna, we have to deal with them both dogo. Talk to them now start. Na jenga community. Yeah, you you create yeah. a community. So then up na tuko nikaka mmejitenga. Mm. But the situation imeanzishwa na nyewe nyewe. Wow. Yeah, so but yeah. but, but, but do, do I put that as a struggle ya kufitin? As in I mean, ukikutana na watu ambao wako hivyo, do you do you bring yourself a little bit down in quest of fit it because come on I'm talking about man I can pretty much everybody you crave for how how do you adjust to that rather than kusema ni kitu na watu ambao diaspora ambao na community yes. how do i adjust kuweza ku fit na watu ambao tu sio sio not necessarily diaspora but kuweza ku fit na watu wengine do you down yourself down a little bit how you manage your expectations um i had to dumb it down that was uh, inevitable because otherwise ingekuwa ni kugombana na watu ndio wote au kama hivyo kuji exclude sasa na community na mitenga na i have some family members who wao kuji exclude wao kutoka na kwa merudi wao kumeni no and even people in the family can say it's supposed to be a cool so and when they came back 
and just keep it to myself. Mm. So I couldn't, first of all, line of work that I'm doing, I can mm. never do that. I can at the same time, in Yenga Mausiano, I remember <laughs> the, when people people knew I mean, Najidia to correlate it, Najidia had gone to the media flan. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so she had issues in the media. Sasa, by virtue of blood, I guess, the media <laughs> quite automatically. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> Mimi, I was here up front. No, 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 but yeah, you have to 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 Straight up, like I said, so I'm in on Duguna. That's it. Hey, I'm going to be on Duguna. Yeah, so I was like, okay, all right, if it's like that, okay. They come down. So, me, I'm like that. Then they come back to your boy. I can't get those to give one up. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Tanzanians don't like being confronted. Exactly, they don't like being confronted. We don't like being confronted, but also we don't like difficult conversations. Conversations. Yes. We, we don't like that. Yeah. Assertiveness is not uh, seen, it's not received very received positively. positively. Because when I'm you're not humble. If you're assertive, humble. you're not humble. You're not humble. Come on to me, confuse what humble is supposed humble to is be humble. anyway. Now, yeah. now, do, we, do we also blame that on false humility? Do you? I think so. Because mm-hmm. someone who's humble, I manage to you're subservient. Mm-hmm. Or that your needs are not important and you're not important. supposed yes. to communicate them. Because yeah. assertiveness is just saying, I respect you, yeah. but I respect me enough yeah. to communicate what I need. Mm-hmm. The end. Amazing. To say false humbleness, ni kwamba da, okay, let me just bypass myself. No, that's not being humble, it's supposed yeah, to be. But, but that's not the thing, though. I think, come on, as, as Tanzanian, Kwanza Kabisa, I mean, come Tanzania Kabisa, now you know how much to not pay them to obey, again, quote unquote, humble. I know they cannot give you care. You know, come hey, we'll be wrong, we'll be wrong, we'll be wrong. Associates from the industry right now. The first time JD and I and I introduce when I task, this is my cousin or cousin of Nzi Kiam. We have been in Tanzania. We have been in the I will, I will straight up, yo, yes, I got that fire. Me, me, I didn't go maybe I'm the dopest, I'm the best. Me, 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 I can name mix and name, me, me. I'm not just a name, but yeah, buddy, come on, come carry me, come on, Basi you told me you don't need help. You don't need help then. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, man. What do you mean? Oh, man. Man. Oh, man. So come on, come on, everything is good. Basi you told me you don't need help. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Now you know how the game is supposed to be. How the game is supposed to be. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, guys, let's talk about, let's talk about, um, um, specifically about mental health. Yeah. Now, specifically about mental health, wow. Kwa, kwa watu, let's say watu ambao wanaishi nje na yeah. nataka kuzungumzia jinsi gani community we as a community yeah. first of all why do you think um, we have the mindset ya kwamba once you go outside the country you are supposed to change uh, and it has uh, what impact does it have mm-hmm. kwa yeah. uh, yuwe tumejijengea toka zamani kwamba mbele mbaibuni mbele ndio kila Hmm. So regardless of who you are doing, so I come from Kenya, I'm going to pull it. Because the way that you pull it, you put your own achievement. That that in itself, if you can achieve it, you become a success. So last moment, you become a man. You figure out what you want. So you achieve it. So you become a man. You become a man. You become a man. You become a man. So that's already an expectation. Yeah. No, no. Now you reach your exposure. You know, they expect you to come. And, and apply that when mm. they when they walk by the exposed. So automatically that one will never go away. Yeah. Yeah. The regardless, that will never go away. Like any um to happen in Bali, yeah. When I'm chukuli apo, I hear that Bamba because he's here. No na to na muona. I'm not going to keep it at Jambi. Wa Bamba just here to keep on in the man in the moonge. Yeah. It's like everything jump up locally. I always come and carry expectation, Bamba, which is a wrong approach of things. Me, me, yeah. Hey, so. 
mimi nitapokea expectation mtu kwa kule alipo lakini sio kwa kirudi nyumbani mm. my, my brother no no dr g amemaliza uh, mwimbili medicine instead of practicing he went to the states mm. akofika states he couldn't practice medicine tropical medicine and medicine yeah. are two, two different things wow. he had to do mcat he had to do a residence in Ethiopia and then akufanikia kufanya America he ended up uh, succeeding in Canada so now he's up in Canada doing very well so now we can judge him from that pole lakini uwezi kumjadi yeye sasa na huku ndio na kwamba akirudi hapo na mwangalie eh urudi doctor tuone sasa mambo yako jenga hospitali yeah i can prescribe some medicine for him but I'm like you wait to expect that the expectation give or some kama my life is there when you was my way you lay your heart is home So my life is there and I'm practicing there I'm a doctor there. Then judge me from there and what I'm doing there for kule. Lakini mm. sio nimeenda kule hata ngija kusalimia huko you judge me. You know. Na ku change changes in level. Na you have to be acclimated na culture na maisha na, na lifestyle za same mwanzo unakaa kwa muda mrefu kidogo. Sasa ukifika kule hiyo hiyo exposure ambayo mnafurahia tukaipate sometimes inakuwa counterproductive kwa dunia. Kwa mfano mimi sasa hizi I don't see importance ya ya religion. Christian, I grew up Christian. Um as my father napenda Muslims zaidi bila ta Christianity by the way. Alafu sioni muhimu wa marriage. Mhm. Sasa hivi kutoka na hiyo. And then sasa hivi anaangalia vitu objectively. Badala ya kutaka kuwa na bias au kuweza kumfavor mtu aina fulani. So where you may be the best friend of mine again I could tell you the truth kesho. Bila kuogopa repercussions lakini huku tunafichiana tunaoneana noma mimi si mwana mtu noma so i have a lot of people who are close friends of mine lakini niwaambia ukweli na wakalika sikia you know so that exposure unataka nikaipate imenisababisha nimekuwa hivyo so by the time i come back you want me to live up to your expectation wakati exposure imenisababisha mimi sana zangu zimekotoka na kwambia uke family you know zamani tunakatazwa na wazazi na ndugu wakubwa kuwa na wasichana na dada zetu wasio na nini lakini nafikiri kipindi mama anampa ireni zake binti yake hii akang'aa za pearls yeah. so that akapata akapata mtu kutotea heshima nyumbani mm. umeolewa sio mekaribu mm. akati zamani ukisikia na boyfriend unamchapa utake na umtenezee mazingira akuja kuwa mdada anaye anaye needed yeah. lakini baadaye ghafla imefikia kuvia umri mkubwa sasa na ujamfunda yeah. alafu unataka mnamfusi apate mtu kwa mm. kwamba anaweza kutotea any other guy ukakubali tu maji ile ya heshima ya familia hii So now when you say what kind of you know you are the zone maybe I must say you supposed to ask me are you happy not why you're not married mm. no so that means that happiness is all that the soul happiness is everything and not correlation here what I want so so that the changamoto yeah that's where there's like hey. a clash <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no no kabisa kwa sababu unahama from one culture one in order for you to actually survive kwenye culture nyingine ni lazima whether you like it or not ndio maana kuna there's one of three ways you know it's either you completely let go of umetokea wapi una adopt culture nyingine ili you survive kwenye hiyo culture mind you una, ndo unapoishi huko au ndo watu ambao wanakuzunguka huwezi kuna na, na mentality za kitanzania ukaishi marekani wa well, mentality zao ni tofauti inabidi ujifunze mentality yao ikoje what is respect kwenye culture hiyo eh what is disrespect kwa sababu hata huku Tanzania kuongea na mtu mzima unamwangalia ndani ya macho yake unamwambia straight forward is disrespectful yes, yes. ukiona marekani usipomwangalia mtu ndani ya macho anakwambia huwa anadharau so culture ni tofauti inabidi ukienda unajifunza culture yao una integrate that's how you fit in you know wengine ndio hivyo tunaenda tuna keep za kwetu lakini tunajifunza za kwao ili tukiwa kule tuna fit in tukija huku tunaendelea kufit in kuna wengine wetu sasa tunaenda tuna reject kabisa culture au oh, ziko nne actually tuna reject culture ya ya huyo tunayofikia kwamba i'm stuck you marekani man mimi ni mtanzania nitafanya as a tanzanian nitatengeneza community yangu ya watanzania ndani ya marekani na ndio maana tunakuta kina china towns kina nani because wamegoma Little Italy. Little Italy is what attack culture or may recreate kwenye nchi ya watu. Na kuna wengine unaona hataki ya kule na hataki ya alipotoka anajenga ya kwake. True. So zote hizo zipo. So now ukishafika huko kurudi ni unaanza ile process tena upya. It's now reintegrating back to your culture. Kama ulizi shed ni unaanza kujifunza sasa utanzania. Uanze sasa ku shed what you learned to relearn something new 
you know au kama ulizi adopt sasa ni ile kuangalia how do constantly you're shifting kwa sababu unaangalia what's right what's wrong kwa sababu may adopt zote mbili zote both frames unazo so umerudi Tanzania sasa unaanza ku shift through una, like it's like shifting gears kuangalia okay is this Tanzania is enough enough is this uh, you know is am i acting or speaking very british or american or what ili wa just kuangalia how do i fit in you know na wengine walikuwa labda wafika kule wakasema mimi sitaki umarekani kabisa akirudi huku kama aliondoka na mindset ya Tanzania aloiacha changamoto sasa kwa sababu Tanzania imesogea so now it's now learning that gap in between pale kwa sababu we, we are not stuck in time yeah watu wanasogea hata kama maendeleo sio makubwa lakini kuna maendeleo so now inakuwa process ya kwanza kujifunza nime what did i miss out on So regardless ni lazima kuna struggle ya kurudi ya kuenda ku fit in ku integrate na ukirudi lazima kuna struggle ya ku reintegrate I want to speak on <coughs> katika struggle nyingine ni swala la network uh-huh. but I think you got to know so maybe I'm lucky nimesoma hapa hapa primary O level A level university and then I got lucky I could travel kwenda kuangalia the rest of the world iko vipi and then nikarudi hapa Um katika vitu ambavyo waga na watu ambao uh, wanaenda nje kusoma wao wana, wana, wana struggle sana ni networking. Mm. And this is kama mimi ambaye nimekulia hapa na rafiki yangu polisi anachofanya mm. I have a friend ambaye ni lawyer hapa if I need a doctor I can just call us and do flani and get to this radio station or the guy went to school with and okay make it. you know we have those things easy. Hey. How is that kwa watu ambao wanatoka wana, wana nje wanarudi hapa na wanajaribu kuanza upya maisha? How much in a, in a, in a play in a play in a week as gani kwa watu ambao kwenye struggle kama hizo zinapokuwa? Uh, it's tough. It's mm. very very tough. Hususan uh, the earlier uh, you, you left Mona and, uh, and the older you are. Mm. So babu kama unasema the digital era since we were able to keep up Mona. So kuna watu wanaondoka na kuanza kuforward ndogo. Kuna watu wamezamia wanaondoka na saa 7 wamezamia wanaondoka. They don't even remember the classmates. Mm. Uh, from four mostly I don't remember the classmates. Alafu from 6 at least alafu miata huku mbele you could unaona unaona and then uh um, degree afanza mafanya bongo masters mafanya nje you could yeah, you could look here was umeanza kuona watu wako wana shape up nini yeah. uh, that memorize lakini wale waliondoka zamani is a huge struggle because they don't first of all they don't remember the names so so kama wamewaachana na wale zamani sana alafu na been abroad for so long mm. is like inaondoka kichwa and then unakuja hapa you don't even know where to find them yeah. those guys no no na hata mtaweza kukuongelea hivi siku hiyo jina wako no na siku hiyo swala and network is super important that is super important so that struggle yeah. is real the struggle is real 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 tofauti na nakumbuka kwa mfano mimi nilipomaliza mimi nimesoma primary kama nne alafu until I went to Leo and then I was a sports guy as a basketball so mom is not the same as my Robert Mas and Mary's my Lawrence mm. my Saint Anton the Tulani call those people who are into sports those girls who were cheering so you know them yeah. and then yeah, I was into the going to the club beach sleepway so you almost what you know you know Kadas Mambo club sleep when you are feeling so you people in the city you kind of like know them hata kama hapo rafiki yako now kuna familiarity and familiarity mm. sasa wengi walikuja kwenda mlimani na FM mbili na nini wakajichanganya sasa wale kutoka Mwanza na wapi na what so people were there na ni faculty ya mwaka wa kwanza si mpaka wa tano kwa kwa nne so it's like people wanajuana from there so chuo was the set of mzuri sana hapa wa kutengeneza that network unaona yeah. yeah. ambao sasa wale ambao tuliondoka tu from sisi kuondoka tuliukost lakini a person like me at least so when I was in primary nyingi I was into sports na nini nilikuwa na sasa kuna watu they don't have that sababu yeah. mtoka msengerema amaliza from 6 kaja hapa kabatika kapata chuo kaenda nje yeah. alijui jiji ndio yeah. yeah. afu mboni comes from there yeah. he doesn't know anybody mpaka yeah. wakati watu wa sengerema mbona inaenda ta email ya wana kwa tafuta kwa social media na unaanza leo kwa tafuta mm. so you don't even know them me i remember one of the a friend of mine by this one in primary school sijamona toka 96 96 97 yeah. anakutafuta na shida what's that how bro like you looking for me in 2019 <laughs> i see you in 20 years almost yeah. i'm like bro i don't even know you cuz life every, every three, four years maisha yanabadilika na people become totally different after events za maisha ya miaka 2000 so yeah. i'm like i ain't seen you like in seven life 
Yeah. So how how am I gonna believe what you tell me is real? Yeah. You want me to believe on me or to go to I don't know myself. You don't know yourself. To do you to go and then do mini kuskili that kind of stuff. Yeah. It was tough for me. No, no. Even though I like keeping up with my friends and I have friends from from Evie. Now back at Leo, like I'm like I cannot subject myself. Umwamini into anamna yo. I'm by my to because the name is familiar. Yeah. Mm. So. That that struggle is real. I need to go on a network in a visa. Yeah, not. Kuna kazi nwa mbaya kwa kanzi kila kideo kwa kwa ndaka kupata nida. So I'm not paying a bit to be like a bigger man. I'm not going to say I'm not your hero. So we will be a say na smile. We will be a bit of a boy. I'm a bit of a cat. I say I'm not your hero. Ah, okay. I'm friends. I'll help you out. Then I say imagine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can I help because of my name? Yeah, yeah. Last name I can find him. So I just don't know him. I mean, so what about they don't? How do we then just manage and adina? So we haven't talked about that. You know, after they want to, to manage and adina. Identity, we need to go into. So we have to manage and adina. 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 So we have to Wow, okay, I'm only a name. So we be real. We know we're able to call me web. We know how to draw. So, but I'm not gonna come up with a name. Come like you're amazing. So they're gonna buga buga. I'm fine. I'm not gonna do that. So we know how to be funny. Because imagine when I'm talking to my buddies, legally they are full names. So kia after that, when I'm talking to someone, I'm gonna say buga buga. They will. Always, yeah. Nene, I love to imagine. Thank you so much. Wow. You remember? You remember? You remember? You remember? Okay, 1994. You don't remember? Nitatizo. So that's yeah. struggle, man. The struggle and networking. Nitatizo. So I'm not. You don't come here, man. No, no. I will keep going. I'm the best. I'm not going to touch you. I remember. I remember when I was from six. I was on a mission. 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 But I wanted to, I wanted to do law in Ukraine. And every time I talk about it now, I'm getting so well. Well, I need something. Well, I need to go up somewhere law in Ukraine. I wanted to do IT, Finland. Like I was really all about that. Now, now, for some people, some of the close friends are born now. You are people want to talk on it and change. So you're like, this is the way to go, you know. And you are actually unona we book a visa come with Zambo. They actually moving. Unona we come in. But I think Mr. Baruch was a little bit smart. I can tell somebody because this is what I'm going to do. Somebody in Kuyako, I'm going to show you part of the text from a master's school in the end. Now we can actually talk about it. So I think by the time we're going to talk about it in Kuyako, you don't even have that kind of thoughts no more. That's what I'm sure of. Like in it, the advantage that it has, you know, you come now, I have a base here in the base. I know exactly what I should have planned in terms of beginning to see the plan of it coming up. Like even some of the guys about now you are, well, in the end, you are Meruni, or I'm going to say, we don't even know who to call. Yeah. And again, I'm going to start with such a normal as a fitting, build new relationship. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. For them, ones okay, no, you know somebody up there, they can say yeah. Like, so that's what we're going to be able to put up on the mic. When I'm going to come back, you do not know how privileged you are. Very privileged. Mm. And I mean, you do not know how privileged you are. Like even for me, you call on a dude, you got lucky. You, you, you went, went uh, yeah, you went outside the country, you got a better education. I mean, it's not even about that. It's, it's It's about more than that, which is now coming back home. Now we are able to something about your wabongo had to relay with the struggle. We did not understand that. Now also, not only had to relay with Akimi, we are not even trying to help out our wabongo. Kwanza, to know where we are, we are not going back. There we go, yeah. I know where it is. 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 You know, it's... It's it's tough. It's really really tough. Now again, for since I'm going to mourn, I'm going to mourn the struggle. I'm probably going to be here to help you. I'm going to help you. I don't know, Nadia. Is there something that we can do as a community to to help out a little bit more? Now, for what you're going to do, we want to have a better chance. Now, because I'm going to okay, how do we treat them as one of us? Now, it was a move as a community. I know it's a tough task, but I don't know. Maybe conversations is not the answer. Nadani, can I? umuhimu au kitu kicho ambacho ni muhimu zaidi ni one tuwe tuna uwezo wa kuempathize yes. jaribu kujiweka kwenye the shoes yeah. ya huyu mtu mwingine unajua ndio it's all rosy and sunshine when it's exciting to be going out of the country whatever starting something new experiencing a new culture lakini zina changamoto zake ambazo wewe ambaye utasoma hapa nyumbani kuko pale if let's say you're short on cash nini nyumbani community yetu is very it, it's a safety net community yetu mm. so watu ambao wanasoma abroad ukikutwa na shida umekutwa na shida mwenyewe 
unless umejenga hiyo community ulipo lakini most of the times you on your own hapa Tanzania hata mtu wa mjuu anaweza kukusaidia mtaani you know so tusiangalie tu kwamba huyu ametoka amefika ame, ame amefika wasa tunafikiria amefika the minute you step out amefika huyu hapo amefika wapi ndo anaenda anajaribu <laughs> kutengeneza na kujenga yeah. you know and there's a reason anarudi nyumbani kwa sababu sidhani kama it's not easy kuishi popote yani uh, kuwa na, na ndugu na watu na marafiki walokuwa scattered dunia nzima yani uongi ukisikia unaongea watu wanataka kurudi nyumbani hawarudi tu because wanaangalia itaku, the, yani the struggle of coming back ndo inawaweka lakini sio kama vile wanaishi maisha mazuri mnaoona kwenye you know on on tv sawa so, wengine ndio lakini pia kuna changamoto kila nchi ina changamoto yake so inabidi tuanze ku, ku empathize na hilo kwamba changamoto anazopitia wewe hapa ndio ni changamoto unique to Tanzania lakini changamoto anazopitia mwanzio labda uh, Ufaransa nazo ni changamoto unique to huko Ufaransa so regardless wote tunapitia changamoto i think we need to start from there just the common humanity kwamba wote ni binadamu tunapitia changamoto tofauti hiyo inaweza ikapunguza ile ile chuki ile that ule wivu unajenga labda chuki kwamba mbona wewe ulienda mimi sikuenda you know oh you know kwa nini wewe why wewe umebahatika kupata chance hiyo mimi sijapata you know like na pia kuje kujivaluate wenyewe kwa nini why kwa nini nafikiri hivyo mimi you know kwa sababu yeah lazima ujivaluate mwenyewe kwa nini mimi nataka kumfanyia to make this person's life a bit miserable or hard kwa sababu that's basically what we're doing. Tukigoma kusaidia it's like tunasema wewe ulienda kusoma kwa sasa tuoneshe. Ni chuki tu. <laughs> yeah, we just trying to make your life a bit harder. <laughs> it is. It is. Ni chuki kweli kweli. Yeah. Ni yeah. is um when uh, a Caucasian person, a white person calls you nigger, do you get offended? Mimi personally yeah. mm. nah. Don't yeah, personally, nah. Mm. And, and, and I, I, I think it's nice you brought it up. And here, I'll tell you what. So, I, when I was in the States, we had uh, a lot of South Africa. And South Africa, in the 1990s, we had a lot of people who were in the world. Because of my age, they've seen mm. the struggle. Mm, they've lived it. They've lived it. They've lived it. They've lived it. Maybe Tanzania, uh, we've see the way to struggle with you na vile vile katika my lifetime ya Tanzania I've never been sijawahi kuzuiwa kuingia sehemu mm. kwa sababu ya rangi yangu au muonekano wetu kama hivyo lakini wenyewe they been through that mm. so ni kama hapa Tanzania we have classes na mm. kuna classes zipo mm. lakini kama racism personally mm. nikasema sikwai kuipitia hicho kitu mm. so now nikakutana na watu from South Africa ambao they actually live that mm. so now we start when we started to get close race approach out with top out now in Canada if somebody calls me a white person calls me nigger mm. uh, in Ghana na ile context lakini the fact that it doesn't offend me how you find it chocho since I come out I'll be bothered and then to make matters worse ni got another this uh, uh, historian professor akana sema kwamba with racism is as long as you have your thoughts whatever it is that you're thinking about me but there's nothing you can do about it first adjust your thoughts ishi na kuanzia pale sasa you can actually do something na kwanza kuni kuni bana kutokana na rangi yako na muonekano ambao mimi nikakubaliana naye so mtu akini to nigger for me is just okay it's a word it's on feel fine cool you're not if that is not going to stop me from doing anything in my country you get it i mean it's a very long explanation but that is my thinking yeah. from but i know i cannot say that i cannot expect a person either from south africa or from america to have the same kind of understanding because cultural or background you give mm. mm. you your question yes because one thing i was going to say nikamba mm. uh, imagine sasa you are in the states uh, you're black you uh, you, you are african african kabisa black alafu unamutana na racism ya yeah, that type ambao are you supposed to ignore it no na mm. so that you can keep your sanity and do what you're supposed to do okay so i think or the one i think you the one i think you will you will you will go to the context that has any the fear that him to keep me happy i mean i mean my own come up so you know but i think it's different when you talk about when you know you know how much you empathize now it's like when blacks we went through this so that that's why you offensive apples don't call the other person 
the derogatory mm. terms and in so imagine that that is a real struggle for Africans all over. Yeah. It's because when racism is it okay, it's kinda of like you be trying to fight somebody else's battle, but at the same time it's kinda of like your battle because you're black too. Yeah. You know. So that is a real, real battle of whether to get bullied. Now let me give you another example. Uh, sometimes they say Africans are worse than niggas. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you could be discriminated that way, but you're not even a nigga. Yeah. And how top you live on your feet. You live on your feet, therefore a nigga. So that type of core look down, uh, look down mm. on, you know, okay, hip hop here, okay, one after you're supposed to keep a happy face, happy face to get the success and more to our face back home. Exactly. It's <laughs> not even for you. It's not even for you. I love to be back small. home and I put on a white one by one and chucky and I want to. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's not even for you. So yeah. that yeah. that is also a real thing. And then get the third one now, African Americans. Since you go to be grow up glorifying, uh, idolizing, Puff Daddy, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. Tyson, nah. Jiggers. They, the Jiggers are all in the world way to see it. Like in wow, African, uh, black Americans, they believe that they are going to be able to do it. And they are going to be able to do it. And they are going to be able to do it. And they are going to be able to do it. And they are going to be able to do it. So they don't like us. Most of them. And they are going to despise us. What are our troubles? Some of us are going to be able to do it. They have a problem with niggas. No, they don't even have problems with you. So, so imagine you know, since we are like them, wow, and then 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 wow, Loneliness. Yeah. Um, and then you have a metro of your point of one idea, young girl, come on, you grew up in Tanzania, on a summer, you pretty much have support system in force. Then you go to a new tent and to your bro, cousin, and a common cook, or common blow, you know. Naka Jay, you shout out to the red, and you go to the family, who do your mouth, and you go to your cook, but you don't get that, who you are, who you are, who you are, who you are. So, how. I mean, for you. Yeah. I mean, you think you're lucky. That's why you had a family cool. Mm. Well, you kind of had, you kind of had a support system. But when I was in the corner, you were the corner school. Talk to me about the loneliness and 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 how do people actually manage that? It's actually real. The mm. loneliness thing, the homesick, mm. is real. Grown men cry. Yeah. Grown men are even getting well. We make it as a joke most of the time, but it's actually coming from truth and coming from reality. Mm. Grown men. So say it's more of an outside bro. If you want to be talking shule, I'll come in the casino, we'll come together, we'll go, we'll come in there, we'll make a one hour, we'll find a bit too. That's as if come on going in the shule and like no fun. Then we'll have no scratch card, calling card, we'll have a time, we'll have a touch, we'll see our home in the OPG. Then, like me, when my time I was there, that was the only way yeah. to communicate before WhatsApp came into the picture. So it was like, when no susa, we'll take a shina time, we'll take a kuna time. Sometimes no, you remember, but you can't even remember who you're in. Maybe you're letting me get a son, my sister, and you're Nah, nobody to, 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 to do laundry for you. You have to do it yourself. You have to do this. You have to cook yourself. You have to need to kill a kid to me. So that stress, most of the time, what to work in a book and the pressure builds up. You know, come out, people cry. Yeah. People cry. It's real. Mm. People cry all the time. Now, easy communities are needies are the aspirants, and say the other thing. Nothing about barbecues, nothing about Pamodia, but it's not the Tempeliana, the Tempeliana. It's not later the community, sense of community. Like, you could have given some of our kids in a gas, and I guess, come back. I come back to the community, I use the Chanel Sana, I found a gun and a detainer, but the one who is here, or the area community doesn't do enough or a lot for them. Going in a pursuit of what's in good. Yeah. I mean, I can't go more than my Alipata Patatizo, a cow, he ends up being deported. So he keeps it to himself so much. Community can never be our detainer. So when he had problems, I can't take care of build up. He had to touch the moon, raise the feet, and he could hear. So I can sign papers and do this anyway. The community couldn't help. The community couldn't help. So to me, feel up. It's like 
this unprecedented convert me feel that he has got done. You already know the man is coming to Tanzania. When I told him, "Car, go two months for a free." Me and Uza, when I get into any that cremating, Uza for engine. So now we are, yeah, 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 yeah. When my ears are from Safi, I'm touching the ground. When I get in, I'm a few and a half and a man. Yeah, no, when I go pull it, the breadwinner, I'm going to pull it. Some of the the struggling, yeah, yeah, to make sure I pull it. Baba and Fariku, Baba and Mama and Fariki, and as she knows your music, I will start to see how you can go. Yes, and not return. So as she knows your music, I'm here to now the breadwinner since the parents go. So the Ella and Mama are starting to get tired, and I'm too many to come and see. But after he has to continue to be in the states so that he can feed the brothers and sisters who are in the school and take it. What's one idea? I'm not even going to feel one idea. I'm not talking. Yeah, they're grown men in the area because you can't. This is the best option. Go back, put your money, Baba, put your money, Mama. The last one, one last time. So there are struggles. Yeah. There are virtual struggles. So yeah. Yeah, we we need to we we just need to empathize more. Yes. Yani inabidi tuanza ku kuele o kamba wote tunapitia changa moto. You know, just because you're living in whatever country, I manage kicho chote. Mwisho siku lazima tuwe binadamu yani lazima ule ubinadamu yani tu turudisha i think some somewhere along the way tunakuwa tuna tuna tunapoteza tuna lose focus of who we are as humans too acha yeah. as tanzanians au kwa sababu kama wa tanzania culture yetu tulivolelewa tunavolelewa our, our country and our cultures our heritage na tunavofanya ni vitu aviendani you know so returning back to what we know returning back to our humanity kwa sababu We we are all, we are just humans. Yeah. Yeah. Ata kama unaishi sijui wapi mwisho wa siku wetu wewe ni binadamu kama unapitia changamoto you get physical health problems mental health problems lakini tukija huku wengine wana wana expand wana expound it's like they're adding to the struggles that you have they're adding to the stresses which is just uh, pointless. And, and, and I think people also need to understand we are not saying people shouldn't take their kids outside the country. Yes. I think it's super important. It's amazing, yeah. It's amazing the exposure um you know, the advantages that come with all that matter all that out here to not come back to the country of your you are in Gereza and you go to your son. Yes. It's the truth as much as it was about tunajua nchi hiyo kwanza kujua kiingereza inasaidia sana baadhi ya vitu na wewe kupita baadhi ya sehemu na pia tunajifunza different things huzu mtu anaweza labda kasoma marekani amejifunza system zao zimekaaje na zina function so well anarudi nyumbani anazi implement lakini huku sasa because of that chuki you make it so hard for this person to give the knowledge that they are bringing yani hapo ndo tunapofail yani na maana watu wengi wanabaki they choose to remain in the diaspora so kwamba wanapapenda ni kwa sababu wakirudi nyumbani wanajua kabisa narudi i have this set of information ambayo inaweza ikatusaidia anakutana na yani backlash yeah if not resistance kabisa yeah uh, that's yeah. real yeah. why must i come back then yeah. mtu anasoma na degree yake kule analipwa zaidi atakomlipa hapa just by the way mm. you know so ana unapiga mahesabu nikirudi na kukutana na changamoto kama zote on top of that sito lipwa the amount nitalipwa huku so una way cost benefits why why should i go back? you know wanajenga community kule anaendelea na maisha we are losing manpower we are losing intellectual power we, we are we're just sending away you know ni yote kwa sababu sisi tunajenga mazingira ku keep on pushing the main reason kwa nini wazazi watuma watoto nje ni kwamba there's push factors kutoka hapa kwamba hapa hapa nyumbani yeah. kuna some gaps so bwana huyu aende kule atapata zaidi they come back home wacha arudi yeah. so there's push factors for for education lakini pull factors ziko nyingi hapa Tanzania property you can own land you can build you can start things it's developing meaning you can grow you can come with a business idea and to work and you will be able to succeed kuliko ukiwa Marekani kwa sababu kule overly populated yeah. everyone has an idea everyone is doing everything yeah. 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 you know yeah. so there's a lot of pull factors za ku, yeah. za kutaka watu warudi nyumbani mm. lakini yale mazingira tunayotengeneza sasa hapa mm. binadamu sisi ndo inazidi ku push because yeah. there's push factors for educational reasons lakini now there's more push factors because mazingira ile kurudi nyumbani najua it will be great kwa sababu kuna potential nyingi lakini nakutana lazima ufanye kazi na watu Mm. Una business idea yako ndio great. Urudi hapa nani atasaidia kujenga hiyo biashara yako? 
ni watu utaleta watu from from abroad waje kufanya kazi no you work with tanzanians asa ukikutana na pushback kutoka kwa tanzania unarudi kutafuta nini ndio maana watu wengi wanaamua kubaki wanaenda kusoma wanataka kurudi lakini wanaona eh cost benefits work bora niendelee huko <laughs> you had an opportunity to come uh, out of US. Yeah, yeah. Why did you come back? Okay, so with me by the time uh, na some of them when I was doing schooling, uh, I was like I'm going computer science, but then I was like ah, that's not me. <laughs> so ni ni badi kan kwani sana kafanya vitu vingi vizuri, nikapata above average in everything. So I was like, you know what? I want I like entertainment, I like sports. I'm like but I love money. I want to manage well to do with finance. Shout out to my. <laughs> yeah, so like tomorrow. We all have money. I'm going to finance. I love to nitatumia the knowledge that I'm acquiring mm. when you have to support the business ideas and the intellectual work I'm going to want to see finance. So, baadaye nika nivanza kuwa serious na music. It was kind of like I'm not even going to worry about the management thing kwanza I'll worry about being the artist so ni kaanza kuwa serious artist ni kwa kule so I was doing that state to state yani kuna kipindi niliacha na kazi na kila kitu nikawa naenda na move state to state nafanya shows na nalipwa na nini hizi shows ambazo wanaenda siku hizo wasanii wa Tanzania I was the artist I was the yeah promoters like so I did all that ni kaanza kujikana na community ya Tanzania ikaja community ya East Africa and then ikaja ya Africa Mm. So ni ka hit saturation there was like yo pigeon mm. looking nice prince is we nani wana toka toka then eh my was my yo sasa hivi umefikia level ambayo hapa you won't even grow wale ambao wote wamerudi Africa ndio wameanza kuja kuwa na impact kubwa zaidi kama vile nice prince wanakuja they get paid four times five times your pay yeah. and you will never change that kila wakija wao utakuwa unafungua tu show zao chameleon kaja unafungua show nani kaja unafungua show yani you never be professor yeye kaja nitafungua show lakini yeah. never nitakuwa taken serious kama yeah. mimi eh mm. to no so i was like it came to a point na nilikuwa nimeanza kuwa kupata wagana wa nigeria kama fan base wakisema go home hata hao nao wataku respect zaidi ukiwa yeah. na sio kule kwamba we don't believe you need more people yeah. Yeah. basically became that yeah. Yeah. so i was like yo i have to go so sasa but nzuri ni kwa tayari na residency ile permanent residency ya US yeah. no na no, no, na niko naweza kuishi lakini nilipofika huku kuna baadhi ya vitu nilikuwa nafikiri vitakuwa vime advance kukuta vime advance okay. yani mimi niondoka hapo na struggles za kuwa na studio unaona nimefika huku kabisa na struggles za kuwa na studio <laughs> I was like what you like some things will never change you mean things will never change i was like yo so i was like yo and then kabla na artist ambao i had started hearing their music very talented the one incredible is the nikki is the nini I expected some kwa Americani hope is the best Kanye nini after they make the most money who could ya who does the other way around the dopest were struggling yeah. for financial so I was like Jesus I mean you know if I had ya but so I came and then I left nikaenda nikachukua studio nini vifaa nikaja na hapo so nilipokuja huko I want to establish that na nikihakikisha kwamba inaingiza hela ya kuisupport yenyewe na kusupport other artists to establish the work ethic thing na nini sasa ikaanza kuwa kwamba anytime I could have gone back to the US lakini mimi ma haja yangu ya kutaka kukuleta mabadiliko hapa yeah. the change na nini it can force me forgo the, the whole thing in the US wow. yeah so I was like I'm just going to be here. na hapo sasa ndio even mimi the struggle na familia ikawa kubwa so I was like okay kama you meet in this resistance you meet issue with deep beef na blood na yeah. nini it's like well, you might as well just go back to do what you do yeah. oh look for a job you got the education you know like mm-hmm. but mimi focus on being a talent I will not lose I cannot lose I yeah. do it yeah. Yeah. so yeah I ended up not going back and that's what drives you back leo back leo mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Even though along the way sasa and shout out to Naomi rest in peace to my cousin Fariki. Yeah. Uh like six years ago you know what? I hate TV. I alikuwa anaongea sana. I hate TV vipindi vina boss ni nini you know what? What cause you could actually do this. No no. You know, first of all you handsome. You can talk. Sini nini akanjaza. Eh, you should do vipindi ni nitakusaidia tukufanye decoration mimi. So that sparked something in me. I was like yes I could because niko ngine kwa interview nikana hito because unaona presenters wanafurahia the conversation yeah, the conversation that was happening with them and then we can be able so you know what maybe i should look into this content thing mm. and nani so nikaanza kuwa nabadilisha na niko fa kuna kipindi mimi niliacha kabisa kutuma kwa international platform sui some ctm tv based nikisema mimi na dili na bongo album kisimani and is now is swahili yeah. and then nitakuja kipindi nitarudi tena na na english nitakuja yeah. hivi niko na pang kabisa hivi so Yeah so now we's like okay now we've been able to people let's deal with this let's deal with that no na koyo 
now is your content is coming and that that one is coming coming and yeah, nice, man, nice, yeah. man. And, and i ask you that question because i think it's super important to come to one of purpose and yes. uh that, that, that thing that drives you yeah. if i ask you Nadia, where did you come back you know i know the answer but yeah. for, for what about you for you why did you come back um because when well first thing why i studied what i studied was because of you know what I've experienced here. Mm-hmm. I, I have history of mental illness in my family, so it's mm-hmm. very close to home. Mm-hmm. Napia, seeing where my grandmother was whenever she, you know, she had an episode, as Freya Pia. So I wanted to be part of the change mm-hmm. when it comes to mental health care. Yeah. So nige back you ko nilipoenda. It wouldn't have served. My calling was you how probably, do I help home? You probably would have made more money. Probably. It, it, that's not a problem. <laughs> but you know, like yeah. for me, what was what's my drive is I, I love helping, I love making a change, and for some reason it was the mental health world. Now for Nubani, it's still something bad. Over it's still it's still very it's a baby. Mm. Mental health is a baby. Yeah, Understanding, yeah. seeking the help, no, it, it it's still very much in its infancy. Yeah. So for me, that's. I, I see. Like I see a lot of people home. in our families, and about they, it's going to become a big problem. Person, some no anxiety. Is hard to even. Yeah, no, no, not only that. We, we, all, we, a lot of us, we have traumas that we haven't dealt traumas, with. We haven't yes. dealt with traumas. We haven't yeah. dealt with. A and lot the way of we was as we were to generations of Peter is they had ways that could cope na mental health struggles. So they liquid for time goes in and ends. Like any. Kulikuwa kuna vitu in the system, in the system vitu vikuwa incorporated in the communities ambazo zilisaidia watu. Lakini kwa sababu ya haya mabadiliko, technological changes, advancements, globalization, tume, kuna hizo coping strategies, yes. mechanism ilokuwa zimeekwa in place. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not enough. 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 I'm kwa sababu zile system hazipo so now where do i get the help and you see people actually seeking the help or actually out right struggling ambayo labda haja kuja accept mwenyewe kwamba mimi nina changamoto za afya ya akili kwa sababu ah mimi so cheesy because yeah. we still have a lot of stigma yeah. you know we associate mental health mental illness who oh, cheesy karogwa mm. you know yeah. labda afanya madhambi mengi sana Mungu anamnanilia anaanza kumwadhibu hapa hapa kabla hajafika yeah. huko you know we still have that stigma yeah you know and na, na zile mechanisms zilikuwepo kusaidia without it getting to perhaps a public platform lakini na hamna so now all of us we are very much suffering publicly mm. you know yeah. lakini bado the kidogo stigma stigma zipo yes it problem my guy as you're winding up If you were to give an advice moja kwa person ambaye probably is getting a chance up and nje pili kwa sisi ambao tuko hapa Tanzania kujia kupokea watu wa what would that be ah kwa mtu ambaye anataka kwenda nje asi asiende na mentality kwamba this is how we do things ah are we open to learn and learning relearning na kwa sababu habit zetu za kusema this is our way of life it may lead to complacency to mediocrity na na clashes za kwenye society eh, na substandards za kufahamu so hivyo mm. vitu inabidi vitoe alafu kama kweli nataka ku learn uh, i'll learn kwa ku kwa ku expand unaona get everything for you know your core values sababu we have values mm. but kuna core values mm. na hizo zina vary kwa mtu kwa mtu kabila kwa kabila na jinsi kuna vitu vingi sana hapa bro orientation yako bro umejiweka so it's like you have your core values but become a sponge and what I'm you can create your own so kama hivyo sema kuna watu wanachukua huku huku kuna watu wana forgo all of them they create a new one and you can create by relics za kila sehemu yeah. and, and create a masterpiece so wow to become a sponge was so rigid na kusema kwamba this is how we do it mm. because that's the only way you will progress and you will advance at the same time kwa sababu 
utakuwa kitu kipya na dunia za hizi imekuwa mpya na imekuwa tofauti kabisa you cannot be 100% conservative you cannot be 100% liberal no no kama kuna unataka uishi peaceful kama unataka amani mm. if you are about the violence that's another thing like <laughs> yeah. kama unataka amani so yeah. I, th- i think that's the best way kwa sababu society na america imagine he use it to mend the use nimefika mimi niko kama mchanga Squeeze credit card unafanya hivi unachukua na igusi chako na kioti unachustani yani uchange tena uchange eti unataki kuchanga sasa kwamba na paki gari barabarani alafu na soma ile mtao namba tunaingiza kwenye simu na ingia ndani ikitaka expire meter huko najipa nafanya sasa simu tuongeza muda tuongeza nipo mbali na gari ilipo kabisa ina mguu zamani vidu weke vicoin ikitaka kuisha ukimbia utoka ofisini unjua jazo vicoin ah jamani so All those things happened when I was not there. No no no. So nimekuja bana kama mgeni anaanza upya kujifunza vitu vingine. So allowing yourself to learn is more important. Kuna watu wako America wana miaka 25 mpaka sasa hizi they can not put a proper sentence ya Kiingereza. Kuna watu wana miaka mitatu tu they can actually do it. That's what I can do. So when you allow yourself to become a student who's thinking and big headed na jua tayari na nini ili endeleza kusaidia and you can blend in with the, with the society well no na to your advantage. Yeah. Na kwa watu ambao wako huku um what they need to understand kwamba maisha kule yanaendelea na hapa yanaendelea. Mm. Na we are not in competition ya kwamba nani kaendelea zaidi. Yeah. When as the moment we bring her to ondoe nadharia ya kwamba we are competing na kwamba kuna levels da, ya kwamba yuko mtoni anatakiwa awe hivi expectation is expectation to you have to adapt kujijua wewe mwenyewe binafsi fry hapo nitokana na nini alafu na society expectation yake ni nini alafu we impose kwa kwa as much as unajiforce ku impose kwa watu wengine so look at look at the mirror first anaona kabla hujaanza kunyosha vidole kwa watu sababu watu wakimnyosha mtu kidole vitatu vinarudi huko kwa so that that's that's the most important thing kwa sababu tuna clash na watu unnecessarily na tunaje kuweka expectation kwa watu unnecessarily ambao zina letea matatizo yao ya hizo mental health issues people kill themselves people distance themselves from the community kuna kwa kuna animosity sometimes there violence inatokana na mambo kama hayo which is not healthy even kwa wewe mwenyewe hata kama you are the one who ended up winning that battle uh, yeah. in the end so i would say look at yourself first stuff now to enjoy these standards and na zoso kana social fabrics ambazo tumezijengea for years ambazo look where we are with them and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, start with the man in the mirror yeah. say it MJ. Yeah. Yeah. Nadia um, I don't have any more points to add I think wakazi like yeah. I, I like what you you said yeah. I just there was a quote you mentioned earlier yeah. uh, jack of all trades yeah. often <laughs> of a master of often people don't ever finish that put that quote for yeah. you know it, it ends with but often better than a master of one yeah. so so it's actually a good thing <laughs> to get jack of all <laughs> trades <Yeah>. yamani <laughs> you can learn different things to learn i like that you said be open to learn mm-hmm. so yeah, you always have a lakini inabidi ujue how to manage your finances inabidi ujue kuongea na binadamu na watu inabidi Unajua you, you can't just say me me one thing and I'm rigid I'm a master of being this. Uh, I, I I love that. Be open, learn, be a sponge. Jitambue kwanza kwa sababu ukiwa tu sponge au jitambui then it will confuse it's pointless because you take in so much and you won't know what to do with it. Lakini ukijitambua you know your core values then everything una, una collect. Unajua kabisa how do I use this information to serve me and my community. You know it's purposeful and it's intentional. Yeah, In Nigeria, bado kwa mfano mmoja wa kujifunza ambao unaweza kukusaidia. Ah, kuna kwa Nigeria ukise eh, ile S inakuwa show. Mm. Kuna so na show. Mm. Kwa hiyo ukuta mtu ameandikwa S O D E. Sio sode, ni shode. Ah. Kwa Yoruba. Kwa Yoruba. Eh, Yoruba people ni shode. Sasa ndio maana hata sade yule mwimbaji anaitwa ni Shade. Shade. Yeah. Eh, cuz she's Nigerian. Okay. Yeah, so that's Shade. It's Shade because that's a Nigerian name. Mm. Shade, Shade umini ni nini anaitwa? Yeah. Eh. Uh-huh. Sasa <laughs> when you kitu kama hicho kujifunza sio kigumu kabisa. You could actually it's very basic kwa unaweza ka learn. Kwa mbona wewe unamuita hivi? Ukamsikia wewe unamtamka hivi? Mm. Ukajua unafanya nini. So I met somebody nikatamka the right way. You have to I was so impressed mm. and this, this guy took effort to yeah, learn the culture. Mm. Wow. Ali kwa willing to help yani ile apo. Wow. No. Wow. And uh, I know and this, it's amazing how yes. human mind works. Human yeah. mind works. Yeah. 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 Like, it's so guy took made effort. You know that to do kwamba this is actually show day. No no, fashion. Yeah. yeah. So that 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 thing in a matter kujifunza 
in a, you can go a long way. Mm. Uh, and then of course you can end up impressing people. I impressed this girl one time. Um, she was uh, her characteristics zake zinifanya nika miss yeye ni Capricorn. Yeah. No, huh? Come on. Yeah. Zodiac signs. Yeah. Zodiac signs. And then her name was Christine. No. So, nivo nivo I got my friend was trying to get me her. Took her you as up in a restaurant. So, me I was just quiet and then go like, okay. Yeah. They got me, "Hey, Tina, are you a Capricorn?" She was like, "How did you know?" I was like, "Okay, so I, as soon as you said she is, I was like, "Okay, I got you." Like, I'm just Kiliza. <laughs> Your characteristics, me, I'm a Capricorn, so I was seeing resemblance to me. I was like, okay, and what else? And I was like, so how did you know that uh, I'm a Capricorn? Gambia, um, your name is Christina. Uh, Capricorns, Tunanza, December, Shinatatu, Baka, January, Shiri. Yeah. So, most of the time, a person called Noel, like me, I'm yeah. my middle name, Noel, yeah. or Emmanuel, or Christina, or Christian, yeah. they want to a little close to Christmas. Yeah. So, the early December, it's not that early, it's not because I'm December 27th. Yeah. So, there's a chance, a possibility you call Christina because you were born yeah. on those dates, which makes you a Capricorn. That woman, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you like that. You like that. that. You like you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> Your mom got some up. Man, that's my girl, man. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. I'm learning. Real learning. Yeah, learning. Yeah, learning. Yeah, super important, man. Wakana, yeah. thank you for coming through. Appreciate this has appreciate. been a very good conversation. Yeah. And, uh, I think uh, it will be an eye opener for a lot of people, man. Yes. Wanawenda, uh, wataka wenda, yeah. waliopo, tuliopo. Mm. But most importantly, for managing expectations. I think it's super, yes. super. And also, like Nadia said, empathy. Empathy. Na, yeah. na kwamba we all have our own struggles, man. Be here, uko hapa, uko kule. Yeah. And uh, empathy, man. Mm. Na, now, imagine kwa yule ambe ali, ali jiuwa, ali toka Russia, kama angirudi na watu angeza kuwa empathetic kwa ke, na kweza kumweleo, na kwambe, you know what, it's okay. You know these things takes time. Kila kila the video we na chukwamba na kila kila kita tokea kwamba wa ke just take probably I don't know but probably kwa kuna a lot of pressure kwa ke be na na to kwa be from family from friends this you know probably you could have said to get zako kwa maisha and I still think we still have a chance kwa na kujia so. That's why this episode was so 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 important, man. Yeah. So thank you for your honesty. Thank yeah. you for uh, opening up. Na ko na ko zungumza ucho ucho zungumza. We appreciate you, man. Appreciate, it, man. We do Thanks do. We do 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 appreciate <laughs> you. So yeah, that's it from us today. Remember, come on talk with Shannon and Nadia and add Mind Matters TZ on Twitter and on Instagram. There's a bio. Uh, there's a link. When you buy a yak, I'm going to put it on your website. You know, check us out on Add Men the Podcast on Twitter, Add Men the Podcast on Instagram, and on Facebook. You know, tweet. Share Yeah, like start a conversation send us a dm we are always to the skills and if you feel like we haven't touched please you know let us know we are open for any kind of conversation wakazi on twitter instagram and facebook Everywhere. just wakazi Everywhere. if you want to uh, hear back to it yeah if twitter, <laughs> twitter is your space <laughs> yeah twitter is your space man. yeah exactly <laughs> till next time the video to my kubaru to nagin wakazi we're here Thank you and I'll catch you all next time. Men 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 the podcast.